Good evening and happy Thanksgiving. That sound real? I didn't think so. It's the end of Thanksgiving Day and frankly, I'm exhausted. I ate entirely too much food, turkey, glazed ham, all the trimmings, and I want to do this review about as much as I want to bite down on a nail file and have you rip it out of my teeth. But that's irrelevant. Still got to be done. So what we're doing, because this week was so hectic, is I'm doing the Texas food review for Thanksgiving. So this evening is the Texas food Thanksgiving review. I bet you're as excited as I am about this bad boy. And this evening, well first you'll notice the camera zoomed in a little more. I continue to get critique on how I can improve my video recordings here. And so there we go, trying something else new so you can see the product a little better. Because tonight what we're going to be doing is reviewing for Texas Food Thanksgiving, sponsored by TexasFood.com. Aichi Wawa. And if you're lucky, I may bring out my Speedy Gonzalez impression. Aichi Wawa spicy barbecue sauce. Oh, barbecue and dipping sauce. I don't know what you would dip in it. I guess barbecue. Whatever. Let me read the bottle to you to give you a little more effective information here. A great sauce isn't created as much as it's born. Aichi Wawa is unmatched with unique homemade taste that can only be created in partes pequeñas, small batches. Tres cheers for that. Try Aichi Wawa on everything in your favorite recipes. The ladies of Tres Gringas use the sauce in deviled eggs, chicken salad, over cream cheese and pizza, to name a few. For recipes, go to... <laughs> You'll have to buy the bottle to find out. So, here we go. Let's try it. See, now I have a feeling this is going to be one of these lids that I'm going to have a difficult time opening again. So, let me uh, see if I can do this with my fingers to be able to sample today's product. It's not cooperating. Ooh, I got a tear. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Let me hold it close. Now hopefully, since it's zoomed in, you'll be able to see Aichi Wawa a little bit better. Makes me want to do the old Speedy Gonzalez. Epa, epa, ande, and yes, I am a gringo. Aroma? Pretty good. Barbecue sauce. What do you expect? Let's give it a shot. Got a pretty good kick to it. Says it's all natural. Says it's award winning. I don't know what award it's won. But it's spicy. I kinda like it. It's pretty good. Let's start with fire though. Let's be official. Fire rating. Red chili peppers. Located over here. Can't give it a mean. It's just not that hot. But I will give it a medium, strong medium, definitely a strong medium. It's got a noticeable burn, so that's better than most spicy barbecue sauces. Most of them say they're spicy, and then you try them, and you have to pretty much drink the entire bottle, which I might do before we're done to be able to really notice notice the spice. Um. So yeah, two. Medium. And then as far as flavor goes, it's really, really close between nice and notable. Hang on. Moment of truth. So I can decide which is which one I want to do.
You know what? I'm, I'm going to go notable. Five green peppers. Whoosh. One, two, three, four, five. It's over there somewhere. It's good. It's very good. Like, I could seriously drink this whole bottle. And if I had more, I probably would. Uh, just to deal with all the uh, trimmings. But yeah, this would have been great to put on the turkey that I had this evening, or the ham. It's a, it's a good barbecue sauce. It's a very good barbecue sauce. I really like it. Uh, Aichi Wawa is out of Mansfield, Texas. And um, yeah, it's exceptional. I'm, I thoroughly enjoy this sauce, and I don't know why I'm doing the hand switching thing here, other than I'm exhausted. Good stuff. I wish I was more creative this evening, but, you know, it's Thanksgiving, and, you know, everybody makes the excuse the trip to fan with the turkey. It, you know, slows you down, makes you sleepy, whatever. So, yeah, I don't even have a cool t-shirt on today. I just came home and said, let's knock this thing out. So I knocked it out. So, I chew all barbecue sauce. Definitely poultry. You know what? Barbecue period. Brisket, sausage, ribs. It could do any of them. Good spice, not the hottest barbecue sauce I've ever had, but a good medium barbecue sauce, nice noticeable burn. Uh, let me see if we can spot real quick where they, uh, they don't give you the exact pepper combination, it just says chili peppers. So they do use real chili peppers in here, which is a good sign. I'm pleased. Notable, medium. And I will do my best to continue the reviews over the weekend. We will see how things go with my schedule. I am doing my best to get reviews up as much as possible. This is just one of those things where as Eat More Heat turns into a business, it's hard to do the fun part as much as I used to. So, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Let me thank publicly, as a, this is a business professional blog thing, thank publicly some of the people that I am thankful for in the business world this year. I uh, have to start with Dave, the Pope of Peppers DeWitt. Dave has been a, a great associate, a great business partner, and a great guy to work with. And I have uh, had a blast working with him this year. Can't wait for the Fiery Food Show come March. And if you're not there, you are going to miss out the National Fiery Foods and Barbecue Show, Albuquerque, New Mexico, March 5th through the 7th, 2010. If you don't know about it, scroll all the way to the bottom of this page. Click on the little red banner thing that says that, and you can check it out. It's going to be awesome. And it's the uh, biggest fiery food show in the nation. Over 200 exhibitors. It's going to be a blast. Um, and now that I've gone through that whole spiel, I don't even know who else to thank. All the amazing manufacturers that I've worked with, if I tried to thank them all, this would be a 15-minute video, and I've only got 10, so actually I need to probably hurry. Uh, and then personally, I'll probably thank you directly but uh, thanks for checking the, the viewers, the fans, the readers, the people who have checked out this site. Uh, there's literally thousands of you, and I am so grateful and thankful for you guys. If you wouldn't put up with my garbage and laugh at my stupid, sarcastic uh, stuff, then I wouldn't even be able to do this anymore. So thank you to everybody. And I will look forward to seeing you this weekend. I'm going to try real hard. I can do it. Little engine that could. We'll see you then.